Mike's on. All right, a little after 4 o'clock as we get ready for Yankee baseball tonight. Yankees and the Red Sox, obviously. Here's the Met lineup if you're so, uh, so disposed this evening and are interested. All right. Oh, here we go. Wait a second. Uh, no DeGrom tonight. How about this? So, there's another reason not to watch the Mets tonight. No DeGrom tonight. DeGrom has been bumped for family issues. We hope everybody's all right. I don't know exactly what that means. DeGrom has been bumped. Oswald starts this evening. So, Corey Oswald starts this evening. DeGrom, boy, it never stops for the Mets. You know, it just never stops. It's unbelievable. So, Nimmo, Batista, Cabrera, Conforto, Flores, Frazier, Mazzarocco, Rosario, and the well, not the Grom, excuse me. So, Nimmo, Batista, Cabrera, Conforto, Flores, Frazier, Mazzarocco, Rosario, and Corey Oswald. So, no DeGrom. DeGrom will pitch tomorrow night. Family issues. I don't know what that means. It just says family issues. That's it. So, no DeGrom this evening. If you are wagering on the Mets today and you took action, get back and you realize you better do something, okay? Because you did not get DeGrom and you paid for DeGrom. So that's why you do not bet big pitches and bet action. You just have to understand that. Please, a word to the wise. Do not bet action. That means action means you get any pitcher you get, okay? But you're paying for a DeGrom line. You want action. That's why you if, it's, if you're paying on a pitcher line for a big pitcher, you get the pitcher's name there, you don't get action. If you get action, you get anybody. You get Oswald. Tonight, you don't want Oswald when you're paying for the ground. Jacob and Tom's River, what's up, Jacob? Good, good, Mike. Let me make a few quick points. Yes. First of all, I really like that surprise interview with Susan. Uh, okay. A couple other people I wish to interview, maybe maybe John. Okay. Also, uh, maybe one day I can go to a Yankee game with you. That'd be a lot of fun. But oh, I want gee, to oh, wait, wait, anything else I could do for you tonight? Really, anything? <laughs> the Tommy Canley, Tommy Canley. Yankees still have Tommy Canley in the in Triple A and. When he comes up, if he's if he if he's back in his game like last year, he could be a really really good bullpen pitcher. Well, they got listen. He's kind of been an odd man out. They have a lot of guys in this pen. The Yankee pen is a very very deep strength. They don't have a situational lefty. We know that, but they have everything else, and they got a lot of power, a lot of dynamite at the back of that pen. They really do. Tad and Waterbury, what's up, Tad? Hey, Mike, what's going on? Thanks what's for happening? taking my call. What's happening? Um, uh, just two questions. One, you know how in the NBA and even in the NFL, sometimes you have uh, head coaches who are also the general manager? Um, like we saw, well, I believe, with... Um, yeah, I, many. I, many. Okay. Yeah, yeah so in, in baseball, though, have you ever seen that? And would that ever be possible... Uh, for someone like the Mets to say, It doesn't hey, happen anymore. I mean, in the okay. old days... In the old days that went on, now it would never happen. Absolutely. Because they're so tied into analytics and to so tied into a different world now. There's no way you're going to have a guy managing and being the general manager of this team, running the whole team. In football, they frown on it now, although you still have a, you know, it, it has been done and it's, you know, it's been done successfully. Uh, but that coach who does that anymore in any of these sports is going to be really a dinosaur. It will not happen anymore. Owners don't want it. It's not the model they look for anymore. The GM position. See, what's happened in baseball, especially, and it's happened in the other sports, but it's happened more in baseball, is that the general manager has gained in power and the field manager has lost in power. Clearly, that didn't used to be the case, but the general manager now is the power source in baseball to the point where there's a lot of push-button managers. There's a lot of managers who are being managed by the front office. Uh, so it has changed dramatically. The, the baseball manager has lost a lot of his power. Sully and Holtzfeld, what's up, Sully? Hey, Mike, how are you? Good, what's up? You know, it would be really good if DeGrom was taking the night off before he came to the Bronx to pitch tomorrow night, but maybe that's wishing for too much. No, that's wishing for way too much. Listen, uh, I, I think to have a really successful weekend, uh, the bullpen is going to have to carry a lot of weight both Friday and Saturday. And if they're able to... They're not breaking uh, any ground there, Sully. The bullpen's pitching no, know, every but, one of these but, games now. Come on. 
I, I know, but but Sonny Gray is going to put. Uh, I, I trust CC to give you a solid five and then fly. Yeah, but that's five but, for uh, him. You know, you're in the bullpen in the sixth inning with him every game. So I mean, listen, you know, in baseball, that, you're in, in most nights you're in the bullpen by the sixth anyway. So uh, I mean, you know, that's not anything new. I just think Sonny Gray is not going to give you even that. I think you're going to have to empty the bullpen on on Saturday. And if you do, and but, you but you don't empty your, it, you don't you empty your bullpen so uh, unless you're winning. I mean, if you empty your bullpen just because you're filling out in innings, that's one thing. But if you if you're winning, it's a different story. Then you're emptying your bullpen. Otherwise, the other guys don't pitch lift unless they, you know, the big guys don't pitch unless you're winning. Then I'm then I'm pitching if you're losing. So you know, if he has a bad game, Gray, you don't empty the bullpen. If he's winning and leaves after five, then you're emptying your bullpen. If he's losing, you're not emptying your bullpen. So if he's down four nothing to sale, you know, they're not emptying the bullpen. Then you're gonna see the bad part of the bullpen. You're only seeing the good guys when you're winning. Derek in Rahway, what's up, Derek? Hey Mike. What's happening? Hey Mike, what do you think about uh you know, obviously I would love to see the Grom uh, on the Yankees, I'm a Yankee fan. What do you think about uh a package of Drury, Frazier, uh, Justice Sheffield Torres and first. maybe like a Tommy Canley. Torres Does first. Does that get it done? No, Torres first. Start with Torres. Let's start with Torres. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm to... being serious. Start with Torres. Torres only, huh? Torres only. How's that? How, how about that? If you call, that if you call me, little, if you call me, you call me, and you're and you're okay. And I know this: the Yankees would have to beat all other deals for the Mets to make the deal with them. He'd have to beat every other deal. They would have to be the best deal. Not not one of the best deals. They have to be the best deal. There'd be a premium on it for the Yankees. If I'm if the Mets call me and they're ser- the Yankees call me in serious, I say, listen, you want the Grom? Here's where we start. Torres starts. We go from there. If you don't have well, that, me- if we don't have that conversation, all right. Then you say to me, no. Can I do anything else? And I say, then you're starting with Andahar, and I want three other guys. If I can't get one of those Andahar plus three or Torres, I'm not talking to you. Now what? And what would you be willing to give up as a Yankee fan for uh, for Fulmer? No, it's a different story. For Fulmer, is, I mean, it's a it's a very different story. I give up. I would give up something for Fulmer. I'm not giving up a ton for Fulmer. I mean, I'll give up a couple of prospects. The Yankees want to low. If you want to land the big guy, it's going to cost you. You're not getting. Listen, you're not getting the ground without any pain. That's all there is to it. See, the Mets can't give you their best player and not get something back that makes Mets fans happy. Which means it's either Torres or it's Andahar and Frazier and a couple other pieces. Mike in East Hanover, what's up, Mike? How you doing, Mike? What's happening? You don't think uh, Andujar, Austin, Sheffield, no. Frazier? No. The and, 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 and first of all, I don't think the trade will happen anyway. I, I don't even think the Mets really in there. I, I know they don't want to trade the Grom, and they really would like to trade everybody but the Grom. Uh, but they love the Grom, uh, and they would have to be completely overrun. They would have to be amazed at the package before they traded the Grom. And it would have to be either. If you're talking Yankees and you want to say, all right, Torres is out, I can't do it, then you would have to really give me everything else I said I wanted. Everything. Andahar, I want it. Frazier, I want it. I still want two more guys on top of that. Then we could talk. But it would be Andahar, Frazier, and two other whatever I want. Except, See, once it's no Torres, I get four guys whatever I want. If you say no to anybody, I'm out of the deal. Because you can't say no to me on Torres and then say no to me again. So you, go, you only get to say no to me once. You can't you say think? no to me twice. You can say no to me once. You can't say twice. Twice the deal's off. If they throw in Sheffield and Lucas No, no, no. They say, you, no, no, no. I get to take who I want. You don't get to give me guys. I get to take well, who I'm I saying, want. Who do you think the Mets would, you know, if they, you think they would like those two pitchers? No, I don't think they want pitching. They want pl- position players. They want position players. They don't want anybody else's pitchers. They like to pick their own pitchers. They don't want pitchers. They want position players. They're ve- woefully weak in position players. Rob in Lakewood, New Jersey. What's up, Rob? Yeah, I just wanted to throw a name out there. I know he has it's only been one year, but I think Blake Snell was a get. You can't get him. Wait, all right, see, all right, all right. All right call, call me up, and I'm and I'm the owner of Tampa. Go ahead, call me up for Snell. You want Snell? I want Torres. I, I, I want to know after Andor and Torres. No, I want I'm Torres. Take to get him. No, I want Torres. 
You can get your fatura. Well, then you're not. Then, no. then you called me. I didn't call you. You called me. You want Snell? You want a guy who's ten and two with a two point something ERA, and you want to steal him? Get lost. You're in my division. I want Torres. You don't want Torres? Hang up the phone. See, this doesn't work this way, guys. You don't get to say, hey, I want your great young pitcher. Oh, I'm not giving you anything. Sorry. Well, I want Torres. What, are you crazy? Wait, how did you guys get Torres? Did you get him in a trade? We think these trades are made so the Yankees so just try to win? I mean, is that the idea? I mean, come on now. You're going to go, you just went to the two teams that the would be the hardest two teams for the Yankees to make a deal with. The Mets and Tampa. The two toughest teams, obviously the Red Sox. But we're not counting the Red Sox. The, the Tampa and the Mets. And, oh, excuse me, I want your best player. I want your best pitcher. Oh, you don't want to give me anything? Oh, sorry. Yeah, but listen, come on now, let's talk. I want your best player. I know. I know. You, listen. No, I don't. I don't want an okay player. I want your best player. I want. I want the guy who's going to be on the All Star team for your team this year. Okay. Yeah, I know he's good. Why do you think I want him? He's good. He's really good. He's impressed the heck out of me. That's why I want him. I know he's left handed. and He's twenty five years old, and he's going to be on the All Star team. And he's ten and four with a two point three ERA and a WHIP of one point zero. But I want him for nothing. Rick in Jersey, what's up, Rick? Hey, Mike. Uh, welcome back. What's happening? Uh, uh, I'm a Red Sox fan. I'm, I'm calling up. I, I, I am looking forward to this weekend. Uh, I think they're going to take two out of three. Who's um, going to take two out of three? What's that? Who's going to take two out of three? The Red Sox. Why? The Sox are going to take two out of three. Why? Why? Mm-hmm. I think the pitching is going to be better. I, I think, uh, actually, I have a, a, a sneaky feel, and, and, you know, can't trust me on this. I mean, I, I guess, you know, with what's happened, but I think Price is going to be big time right. on you know, Sunday th- th- night. There's a lot of pressure on Price in this game. There is. There's a tremendous, you're right. You're right. You're absolutely right. I agree with you 100%. There's a tremendous amount of pressure on him, but I think he's going to come up big. Okay. Maybe you're right. I mean, it's, uh, it's okay. I can I can look at that. But there's a lot of pressure on Price. He's put it on himself. But there's a lot of pressure on him. Justin in Brooklyn. What's up, Justin? Hey, uh, Frank, how are you? So good. good. What's I want to go a different route with um, the pitching, not to Grom. I'm thinking about Zach, Wheeler, and Matt. What do you think about Romine, uh, Frazier, Sheffield, and Drury? For Matt? For Matt and Wheeler. No, that that that, they're not, that trade's not going to happen. They, they, they don't make trades like that. First of all, you can't trade Romine right now. You need him. You can't give up a catcher. You're in a pennant race. You, can't, you, you don't have a catcher for a month. You can't give up. See, one thing to remember when you're talking about a pennant race, you can't give up something you need. You can't trade anything that is something you need on your team. Okay? Unless you can adequately replace it. The Yankees cannot replace their catcher right now. They don't have a backup catcher they can go to. And Sanchez is out for a month, so they need Romine. You can't that they can't do. They cannot give up Romine. That's not it, it. Can't happen. They could give up Torres before they give up Romine because at least they could replace Torres. Now they're not going to give up Torres, but they could. They could put Drury there. They could live with that, but they're not doing that. But I mean, what I'm saying is they at least could adequately replace him. Not you know, but at least cover it. They have no way to cover Romine right now. They have no no chance. Mike in Hartford, what's up, Mike? Mike, how you doing? Good. What's happening? Good. Uh, um, you know, I'm really excited uh, to have you back here. It's been a while since we chatted, but it's funny to me hearing some of these trade proposals. I guess people forgot that you got Torres for trading for Chapman in the middle of the season, and now when it comes time to make a trade, he's off the table. Can't even talk about it. But we'll give you the other guys that we don't really want. It's just kind of comical how well, that, that works. Well, that's, you know? that's why fans don't make trades, because what they want to do is they don't want to trade, they want to steal. That's the way it works. I, want, I, don't want to, I don't want to trade with you. I want to screw you. I, want to make, I just want to rip off your players. That's all I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to just completely rip you off. It doesn't work. That's not how it works. You have to give someone. You have to look at it from the standpoint of the Mets saying, you know what, I like this trade. 
the Mets are giving you the Grom in in theoretically discussing it. I don't expect this to happen. If they do that, they have to feel comfortable with what they are presenting to their fan base. Not we're idiots and the Yankees just fleeced us, which is what you want the outcome to be. Back after this. <laughs> 